While there are plenty of reasons the Suns are down 2-0 to the Nuggets right now, the one I want to focus on today is the horrible play of DeAndre Ayton. He might honestly be the softest player in the NBA right now. He is terrible. I want to start off by showing you a clip that really encapsulates how he's been playing in the series. And I'm just going to play it over and over as I talk about it so you can really take it in. Just look at this disgrace of a play right here. This complete lack of effort. Ayton is standing here watching Kevin Durant fight Nikola Jokic as Jokic is getting like three offensive rebounds in a row. And Durant is just doing everything in his power. He's fighting for his fucking life to get a stop and to get a rebound. And Ayton is just standing there watching. And worst of all about this, when this clip went viral on social media, you know, for obvious reasons, Ayton commented on it. And he blocked a bunch of pages that posted about it. He's soft in the game, and he's soft online. He's just soft. And before you come to his defense, I want you to think about this. And I want you to realize just how terrible this is. This is a first overall pick who is expected to be a franchise cornerstone. And he has been reduced to the level of a role player. And as a role player, he can't even play his role. On this team with Kevin Durant and Devin Booker, all they want Aiden to do is get some rebounds, play some defense, set some screens, and hit an occasional post hook. And he can't do it. He can't do the little things they want him to do. They just want him to be an above average center that plays hard. The Suns might honestly rather have Kevon Looney right now, someone who crashes the glass and plays defense. That's how bad Aiden is right now, that as someone who's a number one pick on a max contract, they rather have role players and replacement level centers over him. Hell, I'd go as far to say what I just said is disrespectful to Kevon Looney comparing him to trash ass DeAndre Aiden because Looney gets boards and he has a huge impact on the game in the playoffs. Next up, I want to pose a question about Aiden. What does he even do that impacts winning basketball in the playoffs? He only grabs rebounds that fall directly into his hands. He only scores points that are spoon-fed to him off wide open looks. He can't rim protect well. He can't defend well. What impact plays is he making to help the Suns win? None. That's the answer. None. Just take a look at this garbage quote. Quote, that's dominating DeAndre Aiden on his impact in the playoffs. Man, get the fuck out of here. You're getting dominated by Jokic and Murray every time they see you. Anytime Jokic sees you, mmm, lunch, that's free food. You're free food. Anytime Murray gets a switch on you, mmm, free food. You can't guard anyone. Obviously speaking, guarding Nikola Jokic is an incredibly tough task. But what makes this incredibly disappointing from you is in the past, in 2021, when you played against MVP Nikola Jokic, he said that you are one of the toughest matchups that he's faced. And fast forward to today, you look like the easiest matchup he's ever faced. Because what the hell? What happened? Where did the effort go? Where did the passion go? Where did the dog go? You just don't look like you're trying and you don't look like you want to be there. Looking forward though, it's okay if he doesn't want to be there. Because they're sending you the fuck out of Phoenix the second the series ends. Don't even come home to Arizona, bro. Just start looking at houses in Charlotte. In I don't know where. You just know you're not coming back to Phoenix. You're getting traded. Look at, look at places in Indiana. Just, you're gone. You're fucking gone. It's pretty obvious, though, why you're here. The Suns didn't want to lose you for nothing. And you wanted the max contract. But while you're here, and while you have a prime chance to go compete for a championship, you can at least try. You can at least try to be good. You have all the tools to be great, and you can't even be okay. It's so bad. This fall off is so terrible because you were honestly on the come up and looking really good in 2021 during that playoff run. And while, oh, the numbers may look similar, the eye test is horrible. You just look so bad. I can't describe it. While in terms of Aiden's career, 
there has been a lack of growth in skill set and numbers. I'd say the real downfall here is last postseason when he played incredibly bad against the Mavericks, he got benched in game seven and he got into it with Monty Williams. And when Monty tried to pull him back into the game, he refused to come back in. And that really just sealed his fate in Phoenix for both sides, really. I know they have to play this season with each other because the whole situation with the contract, but it was dead ever since that moment and there's no recovering from it. So what does this mean for Aiton and what does it mean for his future? Well, definitely going to get traded and when he gets traded, I'm really curious to see how he responds. Will the change of scenery be great for him or will it be just more of the same? It's really disappointing what he's done in Phoenix because you're in the situation that's kind of ideal. You have Chris Paul, you have Devin Booker, you have Kevin Durant, and if you don't want to show effort here in a potential championship level situation, why would I believe in you to show effort when you get traded to a team that's mid or that's tanking? Why should I believe in you then if I can't believe in you on the biggest stage? The final question that I have for Suns fans is, was it still the right pick? I don't think so, and I think we've known for years this was the wrong pick. I'm glad you're seeing it now. Well, that's it for me. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more, as I'm going to keep making videos throughout the playoffs.